Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived. One more time, y'all, let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Derek Yahuda. Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on the early what I seek scripture study and prayer line on this, uh, I believe, what, 21st day. Hallelujah, Hua. 21st day in November 2024. We back at it uh, for, for some more, y'all. Hallelujah, Hua. Let's get it in. We back at it like a fanatic, y'all, in the Don't Be Deceived series. I guess the most high gave me another one. So I'm a, I'm a rock with it, y'all. Is that all right? Hallelujah. I'm going to rock with it. So we're going to go back to our theme scripture. Hallelujah. Back to our theme scripture. <clears throat> Thank the most high for um Elder Yosef holding down the conference line. We got Ed up in the building. We got my mom up in here with my sister Pam in the building. Mo, what you know? <clears throat> is in the house. My mother in law's up in here. Bless you, mother. Got Stone. What's up with the family member? Stone. Solid as a rock. Hallelujah. My big sister Fee is in the building as well. I see you read. What's up with your family member? Hallelujah. Those that's on uh, Facebook, feel free to push the share button, share your platforms with the truth of the word. I'm going to thank in advance everybody that's willing to tag. That's how you invite folks to come on in. Then. Prayer time, read. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Matthew 24, uh, 1 through 5. Look what it said. It said, And Yahushua went out and departed from the temple, and disciples came to him for to show him the building of the temple. Mm -hmm. And Yahushua said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, that there should not be here left one stone upon another, that should not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of the Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be? What shall be the sign of thy coming in the end of the world? And Yahushua answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. See that? It's going to get tricky. See that, G-Man? And, and then in the fifth verse, say, Many shall come on my, my name, saying, I am the Messiah, and shall deceive many. Right? And I already told y'all about Matthew 5 and 43 when the Messiah said, I come in my Father's name, you receive me not. If another come in his own name, him you'll receive. And see, it's equivalent to someone coming with a name that don't belong to him. Because literally, the Messiah came in, in, in the Most High's name. Literally. Not hypothetically speaking. Right? Literally. And that's the name that's above every name. And at that name, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. That's kind of something I wouldn't want to play with. Because cause Acts 4 and 12 say, Neither is there salvation in any other, for there's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And the whole family in heaven and earth is called by that name. Yeah. The Messiah's name is Yahushua. The Father's name is Yah. Yahushua means Yah is salvation. Hallelujah means praise ye, Yah. The slaves used to sing a song, said Kumbaya, which means rise up, come by, Yah. 
Rise up and see about your children. But even getting deeper than the physical name. Come in, th th look, for many shall come in my name, saying I'm the Messiah, and shall deceive many. Because there's a presentation of a new Messiah. Doctrinally. The biggest issue is the doctrine. You with me, Demina? The biggest issue is the doctrine. I showed y'all in Judah, they shortened it and said Jude. But I showed y'all in the book of Jude, listen. I showed y'all in the book of Jude how some unyali folks crept in and changed the grace of Yah and turned it into lasciviousness. That's why uh, 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 the religious community is whooped, Dave, Trenda, Demina, Edna. Pull up a chair, we in here, but be, be, be caught because some folks crept in and changed the whole platform of salvation. Folks got a once save, always save mentality. Just verbally say something, call on his name, and you're good. No, it's not to hear the word that's justified, it's the doer. See, now we can really roll through the Bible and get the real food out of it when, when it's rightly divided. When the standard is you got to live it. Anytime you start interpreting the Bible the way it's supposed to be, it ushers in true repentance. If you're not right to divide it, you sit up under these false prophets, you're going to be sending up a storm and just thanking Jesus you're on your way to heaven. <laughs> Did y'all listen to me? But take heed for first, though. Take heed that no man deceive you. <clears throat> I mean, y'all, let's deal with this then. Let, let's take this route then. Let's take this route. Because I teach the standard. Because the Bible do. And, and I think the most high for allow me to go in there and pull it out scripturally. Rightly dividing the word of truth. But let's go to Jeremiah right quick. Let's look at this. Jeremiah 30. Let's rock this. Yeah, let's rock this. Let the tag games begin, day. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 31. And the word came to Jeremiah, who, Jeremiah from, from, from Yahuwah, saying, Thus, th thus speak. Thus speaketh the Elohim, Yahuwah, Elohim of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. <clears throat> For lo, the days come, says Yahuwah, I will bring again the captivity of my people, Israel and Judah, saith Yahuwah, and I will cause them to return uh, to the land that I gave to their fathers and they shall possess it. Did y'all hear that? When is that supposed to happen? It tells you. Rhonda Ponda. It tells you. Right? Well, well, let's put it this way. Let's read it again. For lo, the days come, right? It says Yahuwah, that I will bring again the captivity of my people, Israel and Judah, meaning he's going to rescue them. He's going to undo their captivity. And I will cause them to return to the land that I've gave their fathers, and they shall possess it. That's when. When they're going to return back to the land. Are they in the land yet? No. Where are we at now? Are we in the land? No. Yeah, son. Where are we at? Who's the president of where you at? Where are we at and how you being treated? After, after you served the 400 years that Trump said, his first term in 2019, he said the African American been in America for 400 years because we came in 1619 in Comfort, Virginia. That was 400 years. Did the word come to pass that right after the 400th year, judgment hit. And the whole world got shut down. 
locked in their houses concerning a pandemic. And it's been rough and turbulent every since. Are you with me, Pastor Joe? Stay with me. <clears throat> but where they still at? When the Most High decided he was going to deliver Israel out of Egypt, the first Egypt, were they still there when the ten plagues hit? When he started punishing Egypt for dogging out his children, was 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 the, was Israel still in the land of Egypt? Can I t can somebody say yes? They had to ride out all ten plagues, and then what happened? Then they left. And end up going into the land. Well that was a shout on the type. Because Israel wasn't in. Egypt for 400 years. They was only in there for 215 years. So it could have been the fulfillment. Of the 400 years captivity. That the most high showed Abraham in the dream. In Genesis the 15th chapter. And in Deuteronomy 28. The Most High let his children know, oh, you're going back into Egypt if you cross me. But this time you're going in by ship. Oh, y'all with me? You're going in by ship. And then judgment going to come after you serve the 400 years. Where are we at? We still we still there? So, that ain't, so the third verse ain't come, came to pass yet. Right? So the fourth verse teaches us. And these are the words that Yahuwah spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. Okay, so that's 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 ironclad. Most high said. Okay, cool. Fifth verse. Thus says Yahuwah, we have heard a voice of trembling and of fear and not of peace. You ask and see whether a man doth travail with child. Meaning, is he pregnant? Is he going through contractions or something? Birth pains? You ask now, six verse. You ask ye now and see whether a man doth prevail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail? And all fate and all faces are turned into paleness. You know that's a lot, because these is all so called black folk. <clears throat> Their faces is turning pale, they holding their loins, their stomach, as if they're pregnant, having birth pains. It's like their water bag broke and in severe pain, right? Sever, alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Did y'all hear that? These are the birth, these are the, the, the birth signs prior to the exile, prior to him being rescued, right? It's going to be tough. This will, this is Before you bring forth a child, a woman to tell you that, a woman that had children, boy, they said that's some tough pain right there. And it's liking going to Jacob, Jacob's trouble, Right? A time period where he in trouble because deliverance is coming. Remember, we read it. They asked him three questions: What shall when shall these things be? Meaning, when 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 is when when is uh 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 the temple gonna be torn down? Well, we know that happened in seventy A.D. when Rome hit hit uh, uh Jerusalem, and they've been on a run ever since. They've been on a run. They have not made it back to the land. Some imposters went into the land in 1947, pretending to be them, but they the synagogue of set, uh, uh, Satan, according to Revelation 2 and 9. Oh, it's going down, Trenda. But see, the cold part about it, Trenda, is Jacob's trouble isn't over. The, the, all these things happen to lead the way to Israel being rescued. And we're not rescued yet. We still in the land of our captive. We still, we still, <laughs> we in trouble, y'all. 
we in trouble. Just bottom line. If you look at the why we're in trouble and what the Most High is expecting out of us, I'm going to tell you what the Most High is expecting out of us. Repentance. He shut up heaven that there be no rain. He sent locusts to devour the land. He sent pestilence among his people so that if his people, which is called by his name, would humble themselves and pray, seek his face and turn from their wicked ways. He said, then will I hear from heaven, forget their sins and hear their land. So the land isn't healed yet. Why? Because we ain't repented. So Jacob's trouble is the punishment of Jacob. It is also the chastisement, the chastening of Jacob so he can repent. Now that would take us back to a Deuteronomy 30 that we read yesterday saying, you know, that, that while we're in the land of captivity, we're going to wake up. We're going to wake up and repent. We're going to leave their Catholicism, their trinities, their fake names, their doctrines, we're going to leave them alone. We're going to leave them alone. We ain't done that yet. So, so now there's a leader that will throw you in a concentration camp. There's a leader in there now who first moved, supposedly, is martial law. Yeah. And if martial law come, then they come. And they going door to door. They snatching up folk. It's all kind of stuff. I'm not, look, check this out, man. Um, whether, uh, <laughs> I don't know what his exact first move going to be, but I know he coming in with a whole nother thing. I know I've heard some of his people they're supposedly rocking with him, say they're going to shut this down because they're going to be arresting Democrat leadership and whatever that whole thing is. I'm not going to mess with that, nor am I prophesying. All I'm saying is it's going to be interesting because I heard the man say that he want white people to get reparations. That's a bad start. And I know he got an agenda, uh, 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 2030 jumping off to Don Jones. Pull up a cheer. We in here. Are y'all with me? Back to the scripture. Jeremiah 30 and 7. I'm still with you, Trinda. I was just answering. But listen, 7 first. At last, for the day is great. So that there's none like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he, he was shaved, saved out of it. Now that's good news. Right? Whom the most high love, he chastened. He'll whoop you and scourge every son whom he receive, uh, Joshana. He will whoop you. He chastens his children. So when you deal with Jacob's trouble, you're dealing with a time period, a day is as a thousand years onto the most high. So Jacob's trouble is still going on. And the insinuation of scripture is Jacob's trouble don't end until they're rescued and return back into the land. It's not over until we return back into the land. And how do you measure that though? Well, I'm going to quote it again. Second uh, Chronicles 7, 13 and 14. But he said, if I shut up heaven that there be no rain, that's future food. That's what rain represents. If I send the locusts to devour the land, that's the devouring of current food. Locusts eat your crops up. Or if I send pestilence among my people, those are the pandemics and the and the plagues, concentration camps, and just whatever, whatever turmoil and trouble that would cause Jacob in this scripture to be holding his stomach, turning pale, as if he's pregnant, having contractions and birth pains. Prior to the deliverance, prior to the most high rescuing him. What is the birth pains for? He going to bring forth. What is he going to bring forth? True repentance. The transforming of your mind, the renewing of your mind. 
So you'll be able to prove what's good, acceptable, and it's perfect will. We got to repent. Are we repenting? No, we still thugs. We still thoughts. We still gangster rappers. We still lie. We still cuss. We still turn it up and twerk it. We still hate on each other. We still shoot us. We still in Catholicism. Worshiping other deities. Phallus, the, the Christmas evergreen. A eternal erection, evergreen. Shaped like a phallus. All these phallus symbols. Jude talked about it. I keep telling y'all. He said that some folks crept in. He said it was needful for me to write on to you at a common salvation. Right? Because there's some people that crept in unaware who were before of old ordained, who switched, who changed the criteria of salvation. They changed it. The Catholic, the Catholic, Roman Catholic Church came in and changed it. The criteria of salvation, who changed the grace of Yah into lasciviousness. People think the grace of Yah is mercy. No, it's not. Mercy is mercy. Grace is his unmerited favor to deliver you blameless. His, unmerited, his, his supernatural intervention to be able to present you blameless. You want to know what grace is? Grace is that he came down 75 generations. Doing something you couldn't do for yourself. Stopped at the 42nd generation to pick up faith of Abraham. Because a man got us into this mess. It took a man to get us out. So he grabbed faith from Abraham. And then from the 42nd generation to the birth. See, that's all grace working. Doing things that we couldn't do for ourselves. Who is he doing it for? The believer. Who is he doing it for? The believer. In the bigger scheme of things, is the believer. But who is he aimed at physically? Israel. All the scriptures in the whole book tell you he's rescuing Israel. What we're reading right now in Jeremiah 30, Jacob's trouble is Israel. Bloodline physical Israel. You can't sweep that away. So when you get revelation that when the Bible says, like in Matthew 16 when it talks about the church, I keep telling y'all, look up the term church. You'll find ecclesia in Greek. And what is ecclesia? It's the translation of congregation into Greek. And who is the congregation? Israel. Ask Paul. He tried to tell y'all in Romans the 11th chapter and told the Gentiles, the heathen nations, don't boast against uh, the, the, the natural branches. That's Israel. And then called them a wild olive bush being grafted into what? Israel. That's not the church that's been grafted into Israel. Listen, Jeremiah 31, 31 through 34 is talking about Israel. He said, I'm going to enter into a new covenant with who? Israel and Judah. Where's church? It ain't there. They brought that in to replace you. So anyone that gets saved, they're grafted into Israel. Listen to me. And if you look at New Jerusalem, there's only 12 ways to get up in there, 12 gates, and they all named after the 12 tribes of Israel. Can I teach y'all? I'm about to anyway. Listen. So Jeremiah 30, listen to me, and a first, 30 and 8. For it should come to pass in that day, say if Yahuwah, right, that I will break the yoke off of thy neck and will uh, and will burst thy bonds and the strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. Because right now, the people that say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan, on all the media, on all the record labels, on all, all this sickness that's going on that's coming from them. That's why the Most High said, oh, those are imposters, right? In, in, in Luke 21, it says that Jerusalem will be trodden down under the foot of the Gentiles because they're literally Gentiles. If you look at the table of nations in Genesis 10, they're Gentiles. And the Bible say that Jerusalem will be trodden down under the foot of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Well, it's not fulfilled yet because the Most High going to get them for what they did to us. And then for jacking us for identity as well. And that's what uh, Deuteronomy 32 was telling you. He said, you replace me with idols, I'm going to replace you with, a, with another people. And I'm going to let an ignorant nation conquer you. Since you said uh, 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 in Samuel 8, you said, give us a king, you got one. 
You fired me from being your king when you got a new one. When I came in the flesh, you said give us Barabbas, kill the Messiah. Well, you got that too. You got Barabbas. You got everything you asked for. You said, let his blood be upon us and our children. Well, he was hung on a tree. They said cross. I know what they said. But curse is he to hang on a tree. Listen to me. You start being hung from a tree. Because you said it. You asked for it. You got it. Toyota. Listen. Oh, we already begun. Put a one. I'm going to keep teaching. Yasharel, we you in here with me? Listen. So look what it says. It says, uh, where we at? Uh, Night verse. But they shall serve Yahuwah. Their el now, I want to mess with eight a little bit more, probably. Listen. For it shall come to pass that in that day, says Yahuwah, that I'll break off the yoke off your neck, right? And burst your bonds. I'm going to set you free. And the stranger shall no more serve themselves of him. See, the fake Jew made all his money off us. Not only directly by enslaving us, right? And we built this place, but all the industry money and all that, we fueled the whole thing. We taught them that. What they know they're doing, they, they got it from Judah. They got it from us. We fueled the whole thing. But not only, but 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 not only that, because they're pretending to be us, there's anointing on them for wealth. Because all that wealth belonged to us is going to an imposter. Why? Because they're pretending to be us. So the whole world helps and help finance them, especially us. Oh, y'all listening. Marv, pull up a chair. We in here. We're in Jeremiah 30 and 8. So we're being used, taken advantage of. Is y'all listening? Being used, prostituted. Tyson was used. They gave him some chips, but they but they they filmed his butt. They made him throw the fight. They made him look bad. Yeah, that's that's what that's that's what they do. You with me, Banks? Listen. Knife first. I'll go to knife first now. But they shall serve Yahuwah. Talking about us. But they shall serve Yahuwah. And David their king. Who's the seed of David? The Messiah. Whom I will raise up unto them, the seed of David, whose 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 reign will not end because of the Messiah. Tenth verse. Therefore, fear thou now, O my servant David, Jacob. He's telling us, do not be afraid. We got to learn to trust the Most High. We got to come out from among them and be separate. They got drones. They listening to what I'm saying even right now. They got all the technology. They got concentration camps. They got robots. They got they got sound technology. They poison the heck out of us with all this food. We're surrounded. We're not free. You got folks believing they're free. You out your mind. You're deceived. But what we got to do is come out from among be separate. We got to repent. We got to admit we was wrong and we need to repent. We need to repent from a religious standpoint. We need to give them back their doctrine. We need to stop erecting Christmas trees and Easter eggs and Easter bunnies. How did it turn from the Passover to an Easter egg and an Easter bunny? And what does that really mean? Israel did not celebrate birthdays. The Messiah didn't celebrate his birthday. These jokers gave him a birthday and they gave him Tammuz's birthday. December 25th is not his birthday. And if it was, he didn't celebrate his birthday. All the feast days and festivals, it's already uh, uh, noted of what they celebrated. And it wasn't no doggone birthday. Oh, it's Jesus' birthday. Get out of here. Or it might be Jesus' birthday, but it sure ain't the Messiah's. We need to come out from among them. Is y'all listening? Put a two if it's true. Tenth verse. I'm going to keep teaching. Therefore, fear thou not. You ain't got nothing to be afraid of. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil. Why? Because thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. I ain't scared. I wouldn't be teaching and preaching like I am now if I was. Is y'all listening? 
Therefore, fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, O my servant Jacob, Yaakov, 10, 12 tribes of Israel, is y'all listening, says Yahuwah, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar, did y'all hear that, and thy seed from the land of their captivity, and Jacob shall return, and shall be in rest, and shall be quit, and none shall make him afraid, is y'all listening? We've been afraid now. Why? Because we're in a land of captivity. We got a reason to be afraid. Why? Look how you're living. Shacking and screwing, partying and pimping and turning up. Floss mold, flamboyant, false filler, false doctrine, verbally drawing nigh on him. Talk a good game when it come to him, but you ain't doing nothing for him. You ain't doing nothing through him. And the stuff you do, you working for the devil. Can I tell the truth? <laughs> I'm going to. Can I tell the truth? Folks moving wickedly. See, you, uh, brother, got to fight not to want to have sex with you. Because you got it all laid out for him, don't you? No imagination. Woo, man, girls, man. Let me get out of here. Is y'all listening? You think y'all like that? You think y'all that's y'all? Is that y'all? Let me come on. What? Why you touch me? What? You touch me with you. You touch me first. You, you beat me, hit me in the eyeballs. It's natural. I gotta shake my pose. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I'm going to go. Where are you going to go read my Bible? <sighs> 11 verse. Listen to me. For I am with thee, says Yahuwah. Listen. To save thee, though I make a full. Listen. Look what he say he's going to do. I want y'all to listen to this. Though I make a full end of all nations, where I have scattered thee. Did you hear that? He finna skinny this place down. See, they think they got population control. They don't know what population control is until you check out the most high's agenda. And he might be allowing them to skinny this place down. Because on the Georgia stones that they blew up during COVID, but on the Georgia stones, it said that these wicked people want to kill people to get it down to a population of 500 million. You know how many billions of people that is even they plan to kill? 7.5, plan to murder. These are murderers. These are some satanic individuals. These are some real Luciferians, right? But look at what the Most High say, right? Because they're the ones that's jacking up the food. They're the ones that pretend like it ain't no food. They're the ones that set it up to you ain't going to be able to buy or sell unless you take the mark of the beast, unless you bow down to Satan. And one of them is you got to be a homosexual. But they don't want Hunger Games, just like Hunger Games. They, ought to, they already divided this place up into sectors, but listen to my point. My point is, who's behind the scenes? Yah is. The one we fired? The one we said, give us a king? The one we said, give us Barabbas and kill the Messiah? He's behind the scenes. He's letting these wicked people do his bidding. Is y'all listening? He's letting these wicked people do his bidding. He reigns supreme. He ain't no weakling. And it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of a living Elohim. He not playing. Oh, y'all, can y'all handle this level of truth? Can y'all handle this level of truth? If, if you can, put a two. Can you handle this level of truth? Put a two. I'm going to keep teaching. You don't have to chime out to get away from this one. Listen. 11 verse, for I am with thee, says Yahuwah, to save thee, though I make a full, listen, a full end of all the nations where they have scattered thee. Where's the replacement of theology in that? Are we replaced really? He finna get these jokers for what they did to us. Why he's setting them up to get them? He's using them to get them? What you gonna do? You better come out from among them, be separate. You better repent. You better cover up, sexy girl, pimp, player. You better come. You better. You better. You better watch how you making your chips. 
You got a bag? <laughs> do you? How you get it? What are you doing? What are you producing? What are you making? What are you saying? What are you pursuing? Huh? What your mattress look like? Who laying on it? With who? How many? Pimp? Listen. 11 verse. For I am with thee, says Yahuwah, to save thee. Who are he saving us from? The enemy. But first he got to save you from you. You got to repent. Though I make a full end of all the nations where I have scattered thee, yet I will not make a full end of thee. Oh, I whooped your behind. Oh, you used to be as plenty as, as it was so many of us. It was like the sand at the seashore or the stars up in heaven. Innumerable. It was so many of us. Now we kind of skinny. Almost ain't any. Because of abortion. Because, because, because of being murdered and slaughtered. Because of being shipped around and the slaves. We talking to telephone poles now. We lost our mind. We've been stricken with madness. Mental health is in the gutter. And we hate each other. Willie Lynch letter. We can't get along. Everything done gone wrong. Sounds like a song. <laughs> Listen. For I'm with thee. 11 verse y'all. For I'm with thee says Yahuwah. To save thee. Though I make a full end of all the nations. Where I have scattered thee. Yet I will not make a full end of thee. But I will correct thee in measure. I'm measuring this thing, how much I'm finna do, finna do you, because you're hard-headed. You don't like to listen. You're a part of the world. You look like the enemy. You're wicked. Can I tell the truth? And I, and look, and I will not leave thee altogether unpunished. No, I got I got to fix you. I got to fix you. Whom you, who will love, he scourged, and, and he'll whoop you. He not go, he, look at this. I told y'all in, in, in Corinthians 11, it says, if you judge yourself, you won't be judged. But when you're judged, you're chastened of Yahuwah that you won't be um, uh, 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 judged with the world. He don't want to, he don't, when he come to tear this joker up, right, he going to personally tear it up at the end. He's using these wicked people to whoop Jacob and he's allowing them to be a belt to tear up his own, their own people. That's how wicked they is. They actually move in that if they are us. They straight Europeans. They from Russia. They cause Kazarians. But they they so brainwashed. They moving like as if they up. Like they really balled up y'all's shirt and said, give me back the birthright. You sold it. Esau sold it to Jacob. Now he came to get it back. And he came to get it back through false religion. And then he took over the banking system and he did it all with the sword. Cunning, he was cunning, he was sharp. Sharp like a snake, like the snake in the garden. But but he got muscle. He got muscle. Most High gave him the muscle. Remember when his daddy came after the blessing went to Jacob? And, 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 then, and, then, and then he went, Esau went to his daddy and said, bless me, even me. And, and then he gave him the sword. He said, you're going to conquer through the sword. Well, that's what he's doing. The real blessing, the real birthright went to, went, to, went, went to Jacob, to Israel. Israel is the woman that brought forth the man child. Israel is who the Messiah was born of. So the legacy is with Israel. They pretended like Israel's been replaced in these last and wicked days. The devil, we ain't replaced. We definitely, in the ghettos, well, they created that in 1555. Uh, Pope, Pope Paul IV created ghettos in Rome for Israel. Is y'all listening? For Judah. He, he created it. So we in the ghettos, we starving, we struggling. That's designed by them as Satan's children, but most high is behind the scene. Jacob, you're hard-headed. When you gonna repent? When, when, when are you, you going to stop doing the food? Okay, so let me read some more. <clears throat> so, the 12th verse teaches us, For thus says Yahuwah, Thy bruises is incurable. Can't nobody rescue us. But Yah, 
We be all voting and trying to figure out who we should vote for. Well, ain't nobody rescuing you. You better turn to Yahuwah. <laughs> folks, folks looking for other religious paths and so you think they hotep, think they Muslims, think that they just all over the dog. What sign are you trying to see how they day going to be burning sage? They just all, we all, we just messed the heck up, huh? You ain't figured it out yet? You was walking around with your history book the whole time. They weren't worried about you reading it too much because they would kill you if they caught you reading, see? You just now start reading, but it was going so well. They making money off you. Got a fake pastor over you. Preaching false doctrine to you. You just a church style. I'm all church style. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Tougher. For thus says Yahuwah, thy bruises is incurable and thy wounds is grievous. There's none to plead thy cause. You go to court, your, your public to pretend they ain't pleading your cause. You go into jail. <laughs> I didn't even do nothing. Yeah, they framed you. But your public defender is not pleading your cause. Just like it say right here. There's none to plead your cause <laughs> that thou mayest be uh, bound up. There has no healing medicine. Uh, uh, this uh, Western medicine is a bunch of potions and chemicals. That You need holistic to be healed. But you got Kaiser and Blue Cross and stuff, right? There, there, there's no healing medicine. And all thy lovers has forgotten thee. All them gods that you've been serving, where they at now? All thy lovers has forgotten thee. They seek thee not, for I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy. So if you look at our history, and you look at how slavery, so how slavery was, even all the way down to how they treat us now, the Most High is doing that. He said, I'm treating you like you're my enemy. I've wounded you with the wound of an enemy and with the chastisement of a cruel one. I beat you down as if I was cruel for the multitude of thy enemies. Why? Because of the multitudes of your wickedness. You don't listen. You're led by your emotions, your horniness, your flamboyantness, your falsiness. Is y'all listening? By the multitude of your, that's how wicked you is. That's how rebellious you is. I'm going to beat your dog on my hind though. Because of thy sins were increased. Look at uh, look at the condition we in. We love fake church, don't we? Tell the truth, don't you? You love it. Because you doing everything. You Everybody in there with you church enough. They screwing high. Is they? They cuss too? Like you? Do they? They ready for Christmas? How was Halloween? What was you, a pussycat? Is y'all listening? You ain't going to repent? You ain't gonna turn to y'all and apologize? Goose and goblins don't bother you, huh? It's all just for the kids. Well, why was you dressed like one? You grown. Because it's sexy. It arouses. You came in, the cat woman. Anybody was super fly? Why was you? Did you have a, the pimp cup? Y'all see how we is? 15 verse. Why cries thou of thy affliction? He asked the question. Why are you crying? Why in the world are you crying because I'm dogging you the heck out? Afflicting you with the wounds of an enemy. Why, why are you crying? Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thy iniquity. The reason why I'm beating you like this is because the multitude of your sins. You won't quit no matter what I do. I did all kind of stuff to you. I was so cruel to you that, that, that you're holding your stomach. In pain, as if you're pregnant, about to have a child, and you still won't listen. Listen, because of the sins were increased. I've done these things on you. He's telling you why. See, he allowed us to go through amnesia too. He allowed, he allowed us a period of time in which we didn't know who we were. We thought we was Gentiles laid up in a Baptist church. <laughs> Hey, we Catholicize as heck. Huh? We Trinitarians. Huh? Not knowing there's only one Elohim, right? He got a new name, a new look. You got that picture, plastics, crosses, everything. You just all told the heck up, right? Idol worship everywhere. Some joke is praying to Mary. Mary Mary, and his brothers and sisters came. And they think she's still a virgin. He got brothers and sisters. They don't even know that. They don't even read their Bible. Listen, 
But Mary and the brothers and sisters came, and the disciples said, your mothers, your brothers and sisters, and they're out there looking for you. He said, who is my mother, my brother, my sister, but he to do with the will of my father, which is in heaven? That was his response. He wasn't, in, he was on, he wasn't on that. She was the vehicle y'all used to bring him here so he can do a work. He didn't disrespect her, but then he wasn't on that. You got some family first folks up in here. Y'all first. <laughs> what you mean family first? Y'all first. That's why your family tore up. Because y'all ain't first. Oh, I'm going to try to help. If you agree, put a three. Is this too much? <laughs> Push me, y'all. So I'll say it. Listen. So the 15th verse, he said, why cries thou why, why cries thou for thine afflictions? Why are you crying because I'm beating you down? Because it's your fault. You still won't repent. Thy sorrow is inc incurable for the multitude of thy iniquity. Listen. Because thy sins were increased. I've done these things to thee. I'm telling you why I'm doing it. 16 verse. Therefore all, listen, therefore all they that devour thee shall be devoured. Oh, what he finna do? What he finna do? Therefore, all that devour thee shall be devoured. And all thy adversaries, every one of them, look what it say. He said, every one, ain't nobody escaping. Every one of them shall go into captivity. And they, and they that spoil thee shall be spoiled. And all, and all that prey upon thee, I will give for prey. Listen, 17. For I will restore the health unto thee. I'm not going to leave you like this, Israel. And I will heal thee from thy wounds, says Yahuwah, because they called thee an outcast, saying, this is Zion whom no man seeketh after. We're the only people on earth that don't get no reparations, no recognition. They dog us out and they ain't got, they, they ain't got nothing for us. They don't have nothing for us. No apology, and they just keep cranking. The dude had enough nerve to stand up and say, I'm finna give white folks reparations. What did you just say? How disrespect, this is what they say. Because they say, look at this, 71st. For I'll restore health unto thee. He gonna do it because they ain't. We waiting for them to do something? You crazy. They ain't doing nothing for you. They'll kill you. I will heal thee of thy wounds, says Yahuwah. Because they call thee an outcast. That's what they think about us. Ain't nothing but some Negroes, outcasts, nothing. Ugh, get rid of them. Clench your purse, lock your doors. Biggest thieves on planet Earth. Run around here with our ID in their pocket and they clenching their purses and locking their doors. Listen, they called the outcast saying, this is Zion, that's us, y'all, whom no man seeketh that. Ain't nobody gonna help them. 18th verse, thus says Yahuwah, behold, I will bring again the captivity of, of Jacob's tent. That means he going to come get us and have mercy on his dwelling places. And in the city shall be built up uh, on our own heap and the palaces sh uh, shall remain after the manner thereof. He going to rebuild our palaces and everything. And out of these shall proceed thanksgiving and voice of them that make merry. We're going to be part and having a good time in him, not turning up. And I will multiply them. Listen, and they shall not be few. We are now. Singer did a good job with that abortion stuff. One of the most dangerous places on planet Earth to be is in a Hebrew woman's stomach. Because she dating heavy and sleeping around. And, 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 and so a form of birth control is to slaughter the baby. Yeah, and they, and they got clinics encouraging you to do so. And I will also glorify them. And they, listen, and they should not be small. He going to start multiplying this. We're going to cut this foolishness out. How many of y'all want to cut this foolishness out? If you agree, put a three again. Put a three in here. If you want to cut this, if you're ready to repent, put a three in here. Listen, four. Therefore, the, the, no, their children also shall be as aforetime, and their congregation shall be established before me, and I will punish all the nations that oppress them. And the noble shall be of themselves. Did y'all hear that? Noble people shall be of themselves. We ain't going to be looking to other nationalities, other races of people, calling them president, calling them my, my, my mayor. It ain't, it ain't going to be, it ain't gonna, that's going to, that's for the end. People that hate you is governing over you, ruling over you. 
They're ruling over you because you're hard-headed, because you fired y'all from ruling over you. How many of y'all are going to let y'all rule over you moving forward? You can start right now. Who you vote for? I ain't voting for no devil. I'm on a whole nother level. I've been woke my game up. Hey, y'all take all that old fool, whatever rigged, whatever you rigging fights, you rigging ball games, you rigging election, I, go on, do you. I'm looking towards the hills from which comes my help because my help come from Yahuwah. Can I teach? Listen. So the 21st verse say, and the nobles shall be of themselves and the governor shall proceed from the midst of them. And I will cause them to draw near and shall approach and he shall approach unto me for whom it, for whom is this that engages his heart to approach unto me, says Yahuwah. And you shall be my people, and I will be your Elohim. Behold, the whirlwind of Yahuwah goeth forth with fury, a continuing whirlwind, wind, and it shall and, and it shall fall with pain upon the head of the wicked. The fierce anger of Yahuwah shall not return until he have done it, until he have performed the intents of his heart in the latter. Days ye shall consider it. How many of y'all is considering it? <laughs> How many of y'all is ready to repent and turn back to Yahuwah? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. If you don't want to sin no more, put a foe. Catholicized folk. I run with preachers that preach lies and false doctrine. Won't even come to the truth. Won't even support truth. But I love them. Praying for them. Wake up. How about that? We all need to repent. <laughs> this ain't no game. Your enemy ain't playing. We need to stop playing. And repent. <laughs> Having a form of yodliness, denying the power there. Treating y'all like he a part-time. Some folks come mess with him for a couple Services, then they go. What's up with that? Repent. Join the family of y'all and plant you and take a seat and plant your feet. That's the best I can tell you. I tell you what, I'm able to say that because that's what I did. I ain't going nowhere. Period. I repent. And I'm ro I'm rocking with y'all. See what the end gonna be. Hallelujah. Who are I put my, I'm putting all my, I'm all in. I put everything I got on y'all. How about you? Put a seven in here if he worthy. Put a seven in here. That's hallelujah. Or write hallelujah. If it's in your heart, praise ye Yahuwah. That's what hallelujah mean. <laughs> put a seven in here or write hallelujah. If it's in your heart, hallelujah. Yahuwah. Praise in your heart. Rescue your children. Hallelujah. Yahuwah. Put five on it. Let's pray. Put five on it. Let's pray. We, we repent. Did you put a four in here? Did you put a four in here? Is he worth the praise? Did you put a seven? Put five on it. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Spirit of living Elohim, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to be in your presence even once again. <laughs> we absolutely love you and need you. Hallelujah. You're worthy of all the praise. We see that we don't have no 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 right to even cry and complain if we still going to live insane, living in sin, living in sin. Won't bow down, won't turn from our wicked ways. Help us, deliver us from even religion, religious institutions that's misleading us and guiding us into Catholicism and false doctrine. Deliver us. We need you desperately. Deliver us from our own sins, too. We don't want to fornicate, get drunk, and hide. What we did in Vegas, got to stay in Vegas. We want to repent, turn from our wicked ways. Yeah, because you said, if if your people, which you call by your name, will humble themselves and pray, seek your face, and turn from their wicked ways, then would you hear from heaven? You forgive our sins and heal our land. We need our land healed. We want to get. We don't want to be here with these wicked people. Help us. Be merciful. Deliver your children. Dispatch your enemy protection about us to keep us safe because they own one. Protect your children. Deliver us from ourselves and protect us. 
And we'll be careful to give you the praise, any honor, not only now, but forever. In Matthew's name, who should you help me pray? Hallelujah. Amen. That was the lesson for the day. I pray we all continue to obey everything the Most High say. Don't be deceived, part 10. Hallelujah. That's it. That, that was the lesson. I pray it was a blessing. I pray the spirit of repentance went forth even from this lesson. And that we change. I might be finished with the series. If the most high put another one in me, I'm going to do it again. It'll be a part 11. But this might be it. We'll see. Hallelujah. I pray you all with Baruch. Thank everybody that puts the share button, sharing your platforms with the truth of the word. Thank everybody that tag. That's how you invite people to come in and hear the truth of the word. And thank everybody that financially support this ministry. Yeah. If you grow here, you should sow here. It's real simple. No rocket science. Yeah. And may the most high continue to give you the increase. Is that good? Y'all want to talk about the lesson? All you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 8-15648. Keep that number because it's noonday prayer and it's even prayer tonight at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the very same number. Is that good? All right, y'all be Baruch. Baruch Shalom, I'm gone.